Here at Healing Hearts, the Center for Grieving Children and Families, I'm Kendall Palladino, Director of Bereavement and Spiritual Services for Regional Hospice. As many, as many of you may know, hospices follow families for up to 14 months after loss. As a natural extension of our mission, though, when we realized the extent of losses that people in the community had, we built Healing Hearts, a place where people can come and get support after loss, not just families of our patients, but the families of our patients and the community at large. We have created the space to be specially designed for kids. We have uh, a room where the parents can work. We have a library in that room. We have teen rooms. We have rooms for kids, four to seven and eight years old to 12 years old. We have a special room called the Volcano Room. It's specifically designed so that children, when they need to express their feelings, and they can't put the words to those feelings, they have a physical avenue, a physical outlet for that loss. Healing Hearts has now grown to the place where 800 adults, children, grandchildren, children of all ages come. My name is Nancy Keel. My husband, Ted, died 16 months ago from bladder cancer. I was fortunate that a hospice volunteer lived in my community and reached out to me. We've become very good friends, and through her and Healing Hearts, I found out about this bereavement group. With this group, and this group in particular, we can share our experiences We've come into the group where our husbands or wives have died at different intervals. So you have someone who's just coming in who's so raw, and we can help them, as opposed to someone who's maybe been coming three years, and they can help us. We've all become friends. We can call on someone if we're having a particular bad day or a weekend. We socialize which is very important because no one understands what you're feeling if you haven't been there. And these friends have been there. We learn that this is our new normal. Regional Hospice has been a godsend for me and for our group. They're there to help you, encourage you with open arms any time that you need help, additional help, but certainly to encourage you to join a group so that you can continue your healing process. Hi, my name is Mary Condren. I'm a licensed social worker at Regional Hospice. I work here at Healing Hearts coordinating some of the children's bereavement groups. We have three groups that go concurrently on one night for different age children. We have the youngest group, which would be four, five, six, maybe seven-year-olds. The middle group would be the next age, 9, 10, 11, and then the teen group. While the children are meeting in their groups, we have a group that goes on at the same time for the parents so that we can incorporate the entire family on one evening. Each group is run by a professional who plans an activity or a book to read, some topic related to grief or emotions and the feelings that the kids have. Um, the children come and we play games, we discuss feelings, we talk about their loved ones, and we help them come up with ways to remember their loved ones and not let their loved ones disappear, but how to incorporate their grief into their daily life and keep going from there. Hi, I'm Emma, and this is my favorite blanket because it used to be my grandma's and it just reminds me about her and she liked this blanket a lot too. It was always on her bed and it's just really special to me. And I've realized now that uh, it's okay, it's good to talk about someone you've lost, and it makes me feel better. 
We all have to face the grief that comes when somebody we love dies. You don't want to face that alone. Healing Hearts is the place that people come in the community throughout our area to heal their hearts and rebuild their lives after loss. Thank you.